Today I'm going to be sharing a special build in collaboration with the Keydot Company. This is the Candy Bar 40% Keyboard Kit in a special Mochi Edition color. We worked together to come up with a fun new color for extras that will be going live on August 12th. As you can see, the keyboard comes in packaging made to look like the outside of a candy bar with a special Mochi Edition label on the sleeve and box. The special edition color is pink and I thought this limited edition colorway would be a great addition to the candy bar line for those who love cotton candy themed keyboards and setups. I also designed a special badge on the back featuring a little candy bar and a bow along with the Mochi Edition label again. In case you didn't know, the candy bar features a CNC 6061 aluminum case and plate, and you can choose between a lefty or righty PCB and plate, which indicates which side the number pad will be on. The case is also really heavy, which was to be expected. The bottom of the case has indentations for the feet and the Mochi Edition badge. In addition to the keyboard, inside the box was a USB-C cable, a sticker, extra hardware and feet, and an extra badge in a different color option. This one is fully pink. To start the build, I put down my rose pink American Haptics work mat. I lay the keyboard on the mat and place the extra hardware at the top. Then I grab my Fantic E1 Pro mini precision screwdriver. This is a tray mounted keyboard and everything you need, aside from the keycaps and switches, are already in the keyboard. So I just unscrew the eight screws on the plate to access it. I went ahead and pulled off the plate, then placed it to the side. Then I gently tilted the case to remove the PCB. The PCB used for the candy bar is a hot swap and I chose the righty PCB for mine with the number pad on the right. I'll be testing out the PCB next, so I put the case to the side, then I plugged in my USB-C cable. I used my fine tip tweezers from Stationery Stash and went along the PCB while using the key tester in VIA. Everything was working just fine, so I unplugged it. The stabilizers are next. For this build, I'll be using C3 equals B3 stabs from the Keydot company. They sent me this set to go along with the build and it includes black housings and stems, wires, washers, and screws, and the Soulmate modding kit. I love that the candy bar has more than one layout option, so I decided to go with the split spacebar with arrow keys. I laid out everything I needed, including six pairs of housings and stabs and three two unit wires. To prepare for stabilizer assembly, I opened up the Soulmate kit. In case you didn't know, this kit contains adhesive bumpers and gaskets to fine tune your stabs to your liking without having to source your own materials. The first mod I'll be doing is applying the stab housing mats to the PCB, which is 0.1 millimeters in thickness. I made sure to orientate them in the right direction according to how the stabilizers will sit. Next, I applied the stabilizer stem mats using my fine tip tweezers again. These go right where they fit inside of the housing mats and I went with the 0.3 millimeter sheet. For the stems, I added the Holy Mod Matte Poron strips to each one and used the tweezers to press each one down. Now it's time to lube the housings and stems. I brought out my Switch Keys brush kit and pulled out my 205G0 and a brush. I applied the lube out of my Kinetic Labs palette. Like usual, I'll be lubing the wires with my grease syringe kit after the stabs are on the board, so that step will be skipped for now. I went ahead and fully assembled all the stabilizers and wires, then pulled out the screws and washers I needed. There was one more sheet included in the kit, and there are strips used to dampen the sound of the wires. I placed these underneath where the wires will sit, right in the middle. Now it's time to install the stabilizers. I used my precision screwdriver again to help me out, and it made the process pretty quick. Here's how the PCB looks after all the stabilizers are installed. The PCB is ready to go, so I brought my plate back in and brought out my switches. For this candy bar build, I'll be using the Keydot Company's SP Star Marble Soda Linears in the Melon option. These are lubed with 205G0 with Crytox GPL106 on the springs. Usually when I need to add switches to a plate and PCB without any foam or a layer of some sort in between, I tend to be able to keep the PCB sandwich together by adding my switches from the middle, so I did just that. Again, this keyboard is a hot swap so I can easily change out my switches in the future. I can also utilize all the different layout types if I wanted to, as it wouldn't be too complicated to go back in again and start the build almost from scratch. Here's how the PCB looks after I've added all of the melon switches. To make sure everything was inserted correctly, I plugged it in again and tested it out on the key checker in VIA. 
Everything looks good, so I can now drop my PCB sandwich into the keyboard case. There are no additional steps for case assembly, so I screwed everything back in to secure it. So far, this build has been super simple, and this compact layout and tray mount design helped make everything go smoothly. I'm already excited with how this keyboard is beginning to look. The case is almost ready for keycaps, but I need to do a few more steps. First, I turned it over and added the non-slip rubber feet to the bottom. Then I turned it back over and removed my work mat. For lubing the wires, I brought out my stabilizer grease syringe kit, also from the Keydot company. Using the syringe, I applied the grease to the wires and used the stem holder to help me move the stabilizer grease around. I also added three keycaps so that I can test out how the stabs feel. From here, I can adjust as needed. For keycaps, the Keydot company sent me the Candy Bar Round 3 Summer 2021 key set. This set supports 40% builds and features PBT dye sublimated black on white legends with some colorful accent keys. I added all of my main alpha keycaps first, then decided on using only the purple accents to complement the Mochi Edition theme. I decided to add a set of Hikari Sakura Artisan keycaps sent to me from Era Ryu. I have so many from their collection, but the pink and purple hues from these happen to match the candy bar key set extremely well, so I wanted to add them. And now the build is finished. To tell you the truth, I've been wanting to add a candy bar keyboard to my collection for so long, and I'm honored that my very first one is in collaboration with the Keydot company themselves to create one of my favorite keyboards in one of my favorite colors. If you follow me on social media, you'll know that my favorite colors are pastels specifically in pink, blue, and purple, and that was a huge influence on this overall build. I know this keyboard is the Mochi edition and I did create this video to help promote it, but I truly think this was a fantastic keyboard project and I've always been in love with the aesthetic of the candy bar and its compact layout. The candy bar is one of the more simple builds I featured on this channel, and for that reason, it's something I also recommend to beginners. Not only is it a hot swap, but you can experiment with different layout types on this PCB. Its compact layout is very unique compared to many standard beginner keyboard kits, which will make it a fun size addition to any collection. As for keycaps, I haven't gotten the chance to try out very many black on white sets, so I'm very excited I got to work with this candy bar key set. I think they look wonderful paired with the pink case, and of course the artisans from Era Ryu match nicely. I know the profile for these don't match the main keycaps and have a higher height, but I really don't mind with how well these pair. And as for switches, these are my second time using the melon switches, and what I like about these are how smooth and quick they are to type on. They also have a nice clacky sound profile to them when paired with this aluminum case. They're made with nylon housings and a palm stem, which is actually my favorite combination of materials. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the Mochi Edition Candy Bar Bare Bones Kit will be available in the extra sale on August 12, 2022 on the Keydot Company's website. I'll be leaving a link down below with more information, but the Bare Bones Kit will be sold at $239 USD. I'll also be leaving a link to the switches and stabilizers I used in this build. I've been in this hobby for about two years and I really appreciate the support from all of you on here and my other social media channels. I absolutely love working on keyboards and it's such an honor to be able to collaborate with the Keydot Company to bring a fun keyboard to the community so that you all can create your own cute and compact candy bar build too. I have some more exciting news coming up and many more builds planned, so if you want to stay up to date on those or want to see more content like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you again to the Keydot Company for collaborating with me and thank you all for your continued support.